As of 2022, the market value of traditional Chinese medicine stands at approximately 28 billion US dollars, but it is estimated to increase in about a decade to approximately 50 billion US dollars. We conducted this investigation by commissioning a company called Themis and Themis did research into the whole of the financial sector looking at who was investing in three companies that we identify in the report as being publicly listed on the Chinese Stock Exchange. We have found 62 in total who are major household names, financial institutions, insurers, investment houses, domiciled in the UK, the US, the EU, other Western countries. It's clear that the big markets which are selling products are, are fueling uh, or driving the poaching uh, of these species. These are big banks, people normally know them because they have their money very often deposited with them. HSBC, AXA, BlackRock, Citibank, Credit Suisse, UBS, BNP Paribas, Deutsche Bank, Wells Fargo, big financial firms. You have pension funds as well. We've got legal in general, we've got prudential. Fortune 500 companies, global multinationals. These are big guys investing directly through their products in companies that are manufacturing products using endangered species. ESG stands for environmental, social and governance. These are three what you'd call like fields in which uh, companies look at certain ethics. And they will be statements or commitments that companies have made to say we will do the following things to have a positive impact on the environment, society or governance related issues. Increasingly in the world now, employees, investors, and potential uh, companies who might do business with other companies are interested in ESG. They're interested in, in what companies are doing in their footprint, particularly because of the um, rise of concern around issues like climate change and more recently biodiversity. What we've discovered is that uh, companies have uh, signed up to the principles of re responsible investment. They are part of the corporate governance network. It's a group of uh, civil society organizations, companies, uh, and investors as well, play, players in the financial sector, who have come together to try and tackle the illegal trade in wildlife. Their, their aim is to ensure that their actions do not contribute towards the illegal trade uh, in wildlife. We identified seven companies in our research that are members of the United for Wildlife Financial Task Force. They are BNP Paribas, Mitsubishi Citicorp, Credit Suisse, HSBC, Wells Fargo and Deutsche Bank. So, the fact that companies are signatories and members, active members of the financial task force and yet we have found that they have made investments into companies who are then having an adverse impact on wildlife and stimulating the illegal wildlife trade, that's a major dissonance and a major issue for those companies. We wrote to all the investors that we'd identified and we got responses only from 14 of them. Some were kind of generic responses uh, which 
stated that these were either passive funds or these were funds that were invested on behalf of clients. And I would say that some of these definitely just appear to be excuses. This really matters because we're dealing with species that are threatened with extinction. And we're dealing with species that are threatened with extinction precisely because, in large part, they are being used for the purposes of manufacture of medicine, for tra traditional Chinese medicine. So, if we are going to stop the big cause that's contributing to the loss of those species, then it's really important that we put pressure on these companies to stop this production. EIA is uh, asking for investors to screen their investments when it comes to risks uh, of involving threatened species. EIA recommends that all companies that were identified in the report stop investing in those three companies and therefore stops the financial link that they have to the creation of TCM products using endangered species. And EIA is also asking for investors to report on their investment decisions and in, these, in, the, in their reporting on the, uh, of their investment decisions capture the risks that are involved for bi threatened biodiversity as well. And the real world impact of not doing this is that we live in a world in the future with no pangolins, potentially no leopards, potentially no other endangered species that are also affected by this trade.